Hi everyone, hope you are doing very well. In this video, I will demonstrate another co-pilot features in Microsoft Dynamics is to have financial operations, which is purchase order summary and sales order summary. These two are part of the Microsoft given embedded co-pilot features within Microsoft Dynamics is to have financial operation. Before this, I have already explained about two summary features, which is vendor summary, and another is product, uh, uh, no product detail summary and product summary when hovering on item. If you have not seen this uh, video, you can just watch it. This is very similar. And in to today's video, I will describe and demonstrate purchase order summary and sales order summary. So these two these features are generally available from 1040 version. If you are using 1040 version and if you don't see these features, you just need to upgrade to the quality update, recent quality update. Okay, they need these features will be available as a generally. So let's explore what is there in this feature. So purchase order summary, if you go to purchase orders, if you go to purchase orders, we will create new purchase orders. We will give warehouse. site so when we used to create purchase order from now there will be a summary feature summary tab summary by copilot so if you see there is no data to be summarized there is no data to be summarized because we have not added anything in the purchase order we will add the items say this item okay and then 800 item maybe say Add it. We'll add another item. After this, I will I will also explain what are the use cases for this. So this is one, and maybe this one. We need to add. I said qualifiers for this. Let's not complicate. Uh, let's add another line item with another item which is maybe uh, this one price is there i just need to check product everything is set okay now if i refresh this copilot will generate the summary what is there in this purchase order so if you see there are two lines in this approved order all of which are not fully received so it is very very basic we will see what other details it gives and in the inside page the inside column there are two orders lines with missing confirmed received date in the system so before we deep dive into this i will talk about the use cases for it say suppose you are creating a purchase order and you know uh, while creating the purchase order you want to see what is there in this purchase order how many lines are there how many lines are approved how many lines are received how many lines are yet to be invoiced those are all summarization will be done by the copilot in real time so in one shot copilot will help you to summarize about this purchase order until and unless this is invoiced after the invoice there will be no summarization by the copilot because that is done but before the invoice whatever the stage it is it will summarize everything related to this purchase order so this will help you know to the procurement team not to not to spend a lot of time to go here and there check check the other fields they will get the idea what is happening with this purchase order okay so what we will do we will just add the delivery date confirm confirm receipt date and we will confirm this one so each and every stage we will look at it what it is changing so that we will understand how it is working actually so now it is confirmed so i will just refresh it and now you see again this is generating the summary see there are two lines order is in confirmed document all lines are open two lines have not been fully received there is one order line which is missing confirmed receipt date 
if you note if you remember we have only added the receive confirmed receipt date for this line item but for this line item it is not there so it is giving you the heads up that for one line item you we have not added it and if you want i mean suppose assume there are 100 lines you don't you can't just check each and every line right it it will give you also the filter which line is missing so if you click on this filter to so lines without confirmed receipt date it will give this line so in this particular there are two lines but if you have click on filter and it is giving this line has missing confirm received it if you go there if you save it and i hope again we need to confirm it right it is confirm if I now click on refresh, the right side, it will generate the summary. Let's see what is generated and what is giving this, what it gives as insight. See, there are no insights. So you don't need to do anything. There are two line items confirm. Two line items are not fully invoiced. What we'll do, we'll receive it, partially receive it. This one. We will. Maybe delete this line. <coughs> Click OK. So what we are doing is we are doing the partial receipt, and we need to see how this is summarizing. So partially has partial receipt has been done, and it is generating the summary one second. So each and every stage, Copilot will help user to know what is happened or what has happened with this purchase order. They do so that if they go back and come tomorrow or the after tomorrow, whatever it is. Whenever they come and they will see what has happened with this purchase order, what is happening with this purchase order. If you see there are two line order lines in the confirmed document. One line is not fully received and one line is fully received, but not fully invoiced. So if you if you can if you want to see which line, you can just click on filter to not fully received lines, filter to fully received, not fully invoiced lines. There are no inside now. So now same thing. If you go ahead and invoice, this will change the summary. So that is all about the purchase order summarization which is which is actually you know helped by the co-pilot you don't need to do anything sit back and check the summary okay that is one purchase order summary and we have another uh, co-pilot functionality in sales order as well very similar in each and every stage it will give you the summary summarization so by this time i think you have understood but we will see so we will select this and you say this I select its warehouse and site we will select our item we surface pro okay and then unit price is already there and we will add the delivery data otherwise it will give you the insight maybe this one okay we'll just change this ctb okay we'll save it and now it is done so if you go up you will see this same summarization copilot embedded features available if you refresh it it will summarize Let's see how it summarizes in sales order page. There are one line, one order line in total, which one line is totally not fully not picked. The order is currently open. <coughs> okay. What we will do, we'll pick it. We'll generate a picking list. We'll click OK. It is we just complete this sorry uh, picking registration will complete it is done now i will refresh it let's see how it generates the summary see this copilot symbol there are one order line in total and all order lines not all order lines are not fully shipped shipped the order is currently open so you see as soon as we picked it it is not changed to shipped it is not shipped Okay. If we click on, you know, 
working slip when you ship it or uh, make the delivery click on okay see as soon as the picking pack, packing list is generated it has changed this there are one order line in total with one line not fully invoice the order has been delivered now we will generate the invoice <clears throat> click okay See, as soon as it's invoiced, there is no summarization because summarization part is done because this, this sales order is invoiced. There will be no summary. So the summary is only applicable when the order is open, not invoiced fully. That is all about the summarization feature which is available in sales order and purchase order both. So it helps user to, you know, not to spend a lot of time to summarize it manually. Rather, Copilot will summarize automatically in Microsoft Dynamics history of finance and operation as an embedded feature in purchase order and sales order both. So that is all about the summarization feature as of now. So yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you have liked it. Uh, I'm sure this will help users or your organization to make it faster. The processes, uh, the, the, the business processes will be more robust and Copilot will help in many aspects. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.